learn the uh, PMOS, uh, the AMOS, right? Then how about PMOS? What should we do? Now, you can redo the KCL, KVL again, but I claim that I can reuse all the equation. The reason is very simple. <laughs> this is an MOS common source amplifier. And this is the PMOS common source amplifier. Let's see if it makes sense. This is the gate of this is the input. This is the drain, which is the output. This is the gate, which is the input. This is the drain, which is the output. Make sense? This is grounded because this is just VDD short. We just shot it, we did not draw it well. Do you see that? How about the loading? This is the gate, this is the source, this is the drain. This is the gate, this is the source, this is the drain. If you are a transistor, you just go through this circuit, right? I Maybe I from the V in, and I see, I go down, I will see source, go up, I will see drain, which is the output. Look at this. I am transistor, I resist an electron, I go in, I go down, with, I go up, right? Up and down doesn't matter, right? I see the source, and then I go this direction, I see the drain, which is the V out. From the drain, in the MOS case, I will see the drain and source of another type of transistor. Here I see the drain and then source of another type of transistor. And that transistor is grounded in this case. This is also grounded in this case. So you see the topology are exactly the same. And you also know that PMOS and MOS has the same small signal model. If you just sit down and redo what we have done before, you should get exactly the same result, right? So because of this, the gain of a PMOS stage, we are referring to this one, equals to negative GM R0 parallel R0. I want you to fill the blank. GM of what? M1 or M2? Remember which GM do we use in MOS? It is the, uh, in MOS case, it is the transistor which get the V in, right? So what GM should we use here? Huh? Should be M2, because M2 is the one who get the V in, right? And then we also have R1, R2, but particularly, which one correspond to the original RD? Is R01 or R2? R01, right? Because R D is the one correspond to the transistor without the V in, right? So this one is the R D. So similarly, the output is R01 parallel R02, and the input in impedance is what? Infinity, because it's still connected to the gate. So you see, we spend a lot of time on the basic common source, but then we jump a lot. I only spend a few minutes, we finish an even new circuit of a different type because I recognize that I can use my previous derivation, but I do it very rigorously. I make sure that the topology is correct. If I try to insert a resistor just at any place here, you cannot do that, okay? So I want to talk about